Hi guys. Today I am going to make um, beetroot achar which is typically a south indian uh, pickle and I'm making it in a healthy version and not too much of oil and also not too much of vinegar and it's going to have like uh, fresh Indi indian spices and ingredients there's nothing artificial except for uh, you know the a te teaspoon of uh, vinegar which i'm going to use so um let me show you what i'm going to do right now. so guys here i already have uh, steamed beetroot this is uh, i didn't add any water it's just uh, steamed beetroot and uh, that's the main ingredient you need and then uh, yeah so you know as i'm making i'm going to show you the other ingredients i've used so guys first i'm going to take sesame oil this is fresh sesame oil uh this is the one i'm using i use it uh, for multi purpose <laughs> use so yes sesame oil so guys the oil is like quite hot so i'm going to add in mustard first in goes mustard and then goes fenugreek seeds and then this is ginger garlic and green chili and i'm going to saute it so guys i had to stop recording because uh, the clay pot which i was using probably was leaking from down and when i put the sesame oil you know the burner started burning i just got scared i had to you know just cut off the camera let me show you what happened So <laughs> I really got scared and you know, so I've just shifted uh, shifted it here. Yeah, you know, I always prefer making it in a clay pot because it tastes good, but never gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> so yes. So I'm gonna, you know, just show you. So curry leaves also have gone inside. And I'm gonna use some Kashmiri chili powder. Yes, I think this is better for now. So I'm going to use a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. This is homemade turmeric. Smells so good. And also the main ingredient for Indian pickle is asafoetida which is also called hang. So if this is not there in Indian pickle, your pickle is never going to be a Indian pickle, South Indian pickle. So remember if you want to make this recipe, you know, you can go to any Indian store and buy this asafoetida. And what else? Yeah. And now I'm going to add it, add this tamarind pulp. It smells so good already. And then I'm going to add in uh, the regular vinegar, like a teaspoon. Maybe one and a half teaspoons. And then some salt. Already smells so good. You know, I was uh, you know brought up in a regular South Indian uh, family, so for us uh, having pickles is like a tradition. It's like a culture for us. And uh, you know, a little bit of rice and some pickle with some dal with some lentils is the ultimate food for at least for me. I w I can eat that in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. <laughs> and uh, you know, pickles made out of sesame oil is the best. Um, coconut oil you could use, but I prefer making making it in sesame oil, and which is not refined. Uh, 
sesame oil uh, tastes bad but that's the goodness of uh, sesame oil because it's not refined it has all the protein in it Smells so good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the steamed uh, beetroots. If you want, you could add in some cane sugar in it. If you want, regular white sugar or maybe even palm sugar, jaggery. But I'm not going to, you know, because there's not too much of salt. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So that is <laughs> that's how it smells so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. I love my little vegetarian food. My mouth is already watering. So guys, if you have any, mm, so good, not too much of salt and uh, I, it seems like there's natural sweetener in it because of the beetroots and mm, 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 oh my God. So guys, uh, you know, if you have any questions regarding, uh, you know, the Indian pickle, please let me know. This is one of the most healthy pickles you could eat. Uh, you know, uh, you get like cucumber pickles, you know, bottled ones. I don't know how healthy they are and I have no comments on it but if you want to try a homemade pickle and these uh, pickles can be made out of uh, carrots uh, carrots are one of the mixed vegetable pickles you know so when my mom used to make it she used to use beetroots and carrots and I don't know some bunch of other ones so so I'm gonna close it with the lid and uh, you know keep it for another 15 minutes on a uh, slow heat and let it cook and then yes after that my beetle pickle is done and I'm going to leave it uh, in a bottle, cool it down and then refrigerate it. <laughs> That's how my pickle is. So let's check after 15 minutes. So guys our beetroot pickle is ready and I'm going to let it cool down before I put it in the bottle and refrigerate it. So let me know how you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you have, guys have any questions regarding my pickles achar or if you guys want me to make a different uh, recipe please let me know thank you